God created man in his own image. He gave man what is called the free moral agency. That is the ability of a man to make choices on what he wants. Either to choose God's provided way or the way that seemeth good unto men, but being the way of death, which is the eternal separation from God. Conversely, the devil, after failing in heaven, had an agenda of manipulating that free moral agency by channeling things which automatically trigger the human being to choose him and away. He started by preaching a sermon to Eve, that was a sermon on deception, of bringing his light, which was not the light of God, and leaving his seed, which is always against the seed of God. This also triggered the curses upon the earth through the serpent. This old Abaddon and Apollyon still continued in order to propagate his agenda through mispresentation of the word and devilish reasoning without the true revelation of the word of God made him to accomplish his desire. To the predestinated, they know his tricks, but to those whose names are not written in the Lamb's book of life, it's a wonder. The question is how, let me throw the serpent on a plain view to smite his head. The old devil gives you something to look on instead of the word of God, though seeming as if there is a truth in him. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? We did his work in the nations. For thou hast said in thine heart, I was sent into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. For him to execute that, even today, he has got agencies through political, religious, and demonic power. By being subtle, so crafty, and understanding the principles of life, he initiated the festival. Watch out his descendants. Lamech was a polygamist, and even Jubal was the father of all such as Hendo, the harp and organ. Through all this education, technology, music and movies, the beast of Revelation 13 managed to manipulate the human's mind to make wrong choices by inviting demons in them. What he wants is worship and establishment of his Eden, making this world not a good place to stay. People die but spirits don't. As at the beginning, he managed to kill. Even today, his agenda is to make sure that he kills spiritual almost everyone that is upon the earth. But the things the elected cannot be. In a religious realm, using so called prophets and apostles of the day, which teaches doctrines of devils and wrong confessions of Christ, that is the way of a serpent upon a rock, which Solomon, the wisest man upon the earth, could not understand. It starts as a spirit of Antichrist to false prophets, and lastly, the incarnate devil himself as the man of sin which goes into perdition. Don't be led astray with wrong choices. Because what you choose today will determine what you will be tomorrow. When choosing, make the right one and never be influenced through demonic possession or the devil's agencies which seeks to loot people's money behind the name of Jesus. Christianity therefore is a choice of eternal life which is given to anyone free of charge. Get out of the devil's yoke and never be equally yoked with the unbelievers. Let the world rejoice in its makeups and nakedness type of fashion which is designed from the bottomless pit so as to make sure that the whole world is undressed to the core. Never accept a lie because it's well presented or polished. I would rather go to hell with the message of Malachi 4 than to go to heaven with a lie. I choose Christ, not Hollywood stars of the day which preaches homosexuality to the whole world to get rid of their soul.